For the past year, I've been making my videos with this telescope tripod with a scrap wood iPhone mount. iPhone slides in like so. But it's really a pain to use. So I made a better one. In order to keep the video a reasonable length, I'm breaking this up into two parts. So in this video, I'm making only the tripod. And in my next video, I'll be making the tripod head, the camera holder. But it's a little more than just a camera mount. The tripod is made entirely from half inch Baltic birch plywood. Here I'm making the upper half of the legs, which are one inch wide, and then go to two inches wide right at the bottom. So these stopped cuts are establishing that one inch wide part. Almost every part of this build gets an eighth inch round over, so I'm not going to bother to mention those. Two of these long pieces are joined together by a two inch by three inch block on the front. After gluing, I realized it didn't look very strong, so I came back and drilled some quarter inch holes for dowels. I need a block that fits perfectly between these, so I measured the gap and then set my table saw fence accordingly. This is the metal plate from a magnetic cabinet door latch, and I'm setting my blade according to the thickness of that. Once I have a slot that that fits into, I cut three pieces for the three legs all at once. And this screw is to keep that locking tab from falling out. Moving on to the lower half of the legs. So here I'm cutting six pieces a little over one inch wide. And now gluing those together in three separate legs. Now I'm just cleaning this up to a final width of one inch. I wanted some rubber chair feet on the bottom of these legs, so I found it worked pretty well to use a chamfer bit in the router table.
On the opposite end, I'm gluing on a 1 inch by 2 inch block, which will guide the leg when you adjust the height. For the upper hub, I'm just drawing that on by hand. I find this faster than using paper templates. I doubled up the thickness. To assemble this, I'm using 5 16 inch bolts and I'm putting a washer between each surface. So under the bolt head, between each of the wood surfaces, and then another one before the nut. And the tripod is pretty much complete except for the mechanism that keeps the legs equally spaced. So now we'll make that. And these get bolted to the legs the same way as they got bolted to the top hub, with washers between each surface. This is the hub for the middle of that linkage, and again it's doubled in thickness. And it's the same assembly process again. And it's done. As you can see, the legs stay quite nicely spaced evenly, and it's very easy to fold up. Now one thing I did do after I was done with the tripod, I came back and made some knobs to lock the legs. Originally I didn't think that would be necessary, but it turns out finger tight on the bolts isn't enough. And that works really well. SketchUp drawings for the tripod will be available when I release the build video part 2 in about a week. Thanks for watching.